This summer, Disney is releasing an exciting new movie called Upside Down Magic. It follows the misadventures of a misfit magic user named Nori and her best friend Reina, who attend a prestigious magic school together. Once they arrive, they find themselves unexpectedly separated from one another, and each has to overcome their own trials. It is a story that hails the power of friendship and the strength of diversity, and it is set to premiere on 31st of July on Disney Channel. There are many people already claiming that this franchise is the love child of Descendants and Harry Potter. Want to know why? Keep watching to get the answer, while we delve into the eight most important facts you need to know about Upside Down Magic. Welcome back, Villain Nation. I'm Lady Blah Blah. And if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe and put the notifications on so you won't miss out on the latest Disney Channel news. Number 8. Based on a Book Series Disney's Upside Down Magic Movie is based on a series of seven books that bear the same name as the movie. Unlike most books, this series was not written by one author, but rather by three separate female authors who created this wonderful world of magic and friendship together. The three authors are Sarah Malinowski, Emily Lockhart, and Lauren Miracle. Each of these three authors has had their own successes writing books for children and young teens. Sarah Malinowski is the author of the Whatever After books. Emily Lockhart has written such books as The Treasure Map of Boys and Drama Rama. And Lauren Miracle wrote the best selling I'm books. They have brought their creative geniuses together on this great magical collaboration. Number 7 Dritten Magic In the movie, the main character Nori has a very odd magical ability. Unlike magic users in the Fluxer School, who can transform themselves into different types of animals, Nori's unique upside down magic means that when she tries to transform into an animal, her unpredictable magic combines features from different animals instead. The animal combination transformation for which she is the most famous, or rather infamous, is the Dritten. An adorable Dritten has the body of a kitten and the wings of a dragon. Number 6. UDM Wonky Weird and Defective most magic wielders in this world of fantasy have strict limits on what they should and shouldn't be able to do with their magic. However, for some people, their magic takes an unexpected turn. For those students whose magic is unpredictable and does not align with the five schools of magic, there is an alternative group called UDM, Upside Down Magic. Students who are sent to UDM have a magic that is considered wonky, weird, and defective. These students are relegated to a dark basement away from the rest of the school and are forbidden from practicing magic in hopes that their magic will die out. Nori, who's determined to learn magic anyway, sets out to prove that upside down magic is better than right side up. Number 5. Sage Academy School of Magic the movie Upside Down Magic primarily takes place at the Sage Academy, a prestigious boarding school that is toted as the best magic school in the world that produces the best students in the world. Within the Sage Academy are five different schools for five different types of magic. The Fuzzies are magic users who have the unique ability to communicate with animals. Flickers are those who can turn themselves invisible or turn other things invisible. Flyers are those who can, well, fly. Flares have the magical ability to control fire and heat. Nori's best friend Reina belongs to this school of magic. Fluxers are magic users who can transform themselves into different animals. Last but not least is the Uncounted Outcast School for UDM upside down magic users such as Nori. Which school would you choose? Number 4. Shadow Magic In the magical world of the Upside Down Magic movie, the main enemy and fear of all magic users are shadow magic and those who wield it. It is believed by many people, including Headmaster Nightslinger, that shadow magic can only be wielded by people with upside down magic. In fact, she believes that shadow magic specifically targets UDMs and seeks them out to be used for nefarious purposes. It is under this belief that the UDM school was founded, so UDM users would be denied the ability to use their magic in hopes that it would eventually die off for the betterment and safety of all mankind. Number 3. Nori Played by Newcomer to the Big Screen 
Disney has made a surprising decision about the role of the main character, Eleanor Boxwood Horace, also known as Nori. Rather than casting the main role of the movie with a known name in the child acting world, Disney has selected Isabella Rose to play Nori, a newcomer to the big screen. Choosing a fresh face to be the front and center could be risky, but Isabella seems like the perfect fit for the role. Having a fresh face can add an element of excitement to an already action-packed, adventure-filled movie. Number 2. Disney Version of Harry Potter There have been discussions all over the internet about the similarities between the Harry Potter franchise and Disney's new movie Upside Down Magic. But are they too similar? They definitely are several uncanny similarities such as the magical boarding school of setting, the different houses of magic within the school, and the overall theme of young magic users ultimately battling against darker forces. However, there are also quite a few differences that set it apart as its own unique story, such as the types of magic students can wield, the primarily female lead cast, and the overarching message of the power of diversity. Number 1. A Major Change From The Books If you've read the book series Upside Down Magic, you may have seen a big surprise in store when you watch Disney's movie version of the story. Although the premise and overarching storyline remain mostly the same, without too much deviation from the original plot, you may be shocked to find the movie has changed one of the main characters. In the original book series written by the three female authors, Sarah Milanowski, Emily Lockhart, and Lauren Miracle, Nori's best friend is named Elliot, and he is an upside-down flare, which means instead of controlling fire and heating things up, his magic makes things cold. In the movie, however, the character of Elliot is replaced with Raina, who is a normal flare and is at the top of her class. What excites you the most about upside-down magic? Will you watch it when it premieres? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Lady Blah Blah, and as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to put a like, subscribe, and share this video with your villain friends.